Oh my gosh. The combination of heat and humidity. Recipe for one very sweaty, sticky, uncomfortable individual. Basically me right now. What even can I do in this heat other than try and sit here and not sweat, but that's not gonna happen. Hey guys, and welcome to another vlog, another episode of Holy Ghost Solo. I don't know off the top of my head which number this is. Probably like 27. I am in a different location again. I'm in a new hostel. I'm in a place called Noosa. I've come from Rainbow Beach and yeah, I don't know what we're gonna get up to and yeah, I'm also gonna say at the start of this video that it is sponsored by Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. About this thing over here, this is my makeshift tripod where I'm kind of sitting right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually working really well so just don't judge. Australians are so friendly they're just so nice that's such a boring word but i cannot even tell you how nice australian people are and it's kind of a contrast to like the people in the uk i'm not saying we're not friendly but we're just more reserved and insular in ourselves but yeah i just love how friendly they are and the whole chilled relaxed atmosphere across the whole of the country i got this watermelon this morning that was super cheap when i arrived on the coach for like three dollars something for like this huge slice i bought that from this market that i found just at the coach station before i came to the hostel and i swear the person in there just was like oh i love your top i didn't acknowledge it though because i didn't think he was talking to me but i think he was referring to the banana top that we all know and love i also then got a bus from the coach stop to the hostel the bus driver like let me on for free and i was just like thank you so much and they even went out of their way to step off the bus and show me where the hostel was i was just like that's so kind it just made my day genuinely like small things like that and yeah i just people in australia are just so nice <laughs> i don't know just always feel at home and welcome i just wanted to like, acknowledge that at the start of this video but yeah should i talk about this now or should i wait yeah we'll talk about it now something that obviously i've mentioned in a very recent video is like moving to australia and yeah it's honestly crazy how much i've been thinking about that when i talk to people i'm like yeah i'm really considering moving here genuinely i sound so sure of myself it's like an overwhelming thought but there's something that just makes sense i do see myself moving here or spending at least a fair bit of time here other than traveling because obviously traveling in a country and living in a country can be very different things and at the moment my thoughts are like i think i'd want to study here obviously i've been looking at master's courses and i did a lot of research before i came out here and yes there were courses i was considering in australia like the university of sydney there's the monash university in melbourne and other places and yeah i'm just really thinking that if i want to see what it's like to live here the perfect opportunity is to study here i'm gonna still stick with looking at nutrition courses because something about that really interests me. Yes, I'm not just going to rush into this at all. It's going to take a lot of thinking. But that idea just makes me so excited. You've got to create new adventures. And the thing with traveling, as I said before, it's really opened my eyes to new opportunities and to thinking outside the box, which is something I don't and haven't really done before. I'm going to obviously go home. Like, I think the video that I put out first about moving to Australia, everyone at home was like are you coming home holly they got really worried and i was like yes 100 percent. i love home yes i miss home 100 percent. i am not saying that i don't want to go home but also i do want to think about things in the future it's just like a breath of fresh air i don't know i'm so so glad that i traveled i hope this makes sense it feels as if the heat is making me kind of delirious but that's just on my mind right now and it's stuff that has been on my mind for a while i'm also talking to people and considering like visas what type of visa can i get to come here you know crazy thoughts like that i'm genuinely really going with this idea it's like a right path to follow obviously there's no right and wrong in life but your intuition is a very strong thing sometimes leaving this place is going to be so sad obviously what's going to be on the other side of that 20 i don't know how many hour plane journey is going to be home and it's going to be so nice to see everyone but at the same time australia has just shocked and surprised me how much i've fallen in love with this place crazy i don't really know what i'm gonna do in noosa for these few days but they have this magazine thing so i think i'll have a little read of this to see what i can do take a little read and i'm also probably gonna do a bit of research before i go out in terms of like courses and nutrition stuff okay we're gonna turn the fan back on because it's way too hot in here perfect and then i want a banana whilst i read 
this. So I didn't actually use Google for once to help me do my research. I read this book as I said and then after that I just sat on my computer and did some research into master courses. So I referred to the spreadsheet that I'd made back at home and I also just did a bit more research into some more Australian universities and that essentially then concluded my time inside because I wanted to get out and really start exploring Noosa itself. So I walked past the main beach but that was actually pretty busy so I headed and made my way to the Noosa National Park which was about a 10-15 minute walk from the hostel. I decided to do the coastal walk to start with and I mean the National Park itself offers so many different hiking trails so yeah, I just started with this one essentially. I was told by others before I came that Noosa National Park is like incredible, has loads of walking trails and I was like I'll just you know suss it out, see where I can explore. So yeah I'm basically, I don't know, over halfway around the coastal walk, it basically goes around the coast hence the name. Yes I'm trying not to burn so I'm covering my shoulders and stuff but you know working on this tan. It was quite busy at the start of the walk but now I haven't really seen anyone. But yeah also how crazy is this, like in the past like three hours since arriving in Noosa three people three different people have recognized me and to me this blows my mind when people know who i am and they tell me like that they love my videos or my content i'm literally just like this is crazy like i literally never want to be anyone famous or a celebrity i just want to be someone who is a normal person does normal things and supposedly just likes to put their stuff online i don't know but yeah i'm gonna get on i'm heading this way and yeah just listening to some music i'm sweating so much but it's fine you know once you get out in nature and you're sweating i don't find it that bad it's just when i'm indoors and sweating i just can't deal my walking has gone wrong my navigation skills are not good i know that for a fact but you know i should have realized i was no longer next to the coast but it didn't really phase me because on this map i'm apparently here now i was supposed to be going down here to where is it sunshine beach here hmm so the question is do we like finish this walk or do we try and get back on the coastal walk i need to now pick a route I made it to Sunshine Beach! I was actually getting kind of worried at the end just because I had no signal. I kept hearing what sounded like thunder but I feel like it was just the waves. And yeah, when I got a bit lost as well, I was like, oh gosh. The colour of these clouds though, like, wow. Hello stairs, they go all the way up there. The ultimate finish to the workout. The legs are gonna like burn up here. That's a lot of steps. Ew. There is definitely thunder and a bit of lightning. It's not me being stupid. Listen to that. I hate being out when there is thunder and lightning. Look at the contrast though, this blue sky over here. And then look at the color of the clouds over there. It's honestly crazy. I've come to a bus stop. I figured I'm getting on a bus and I'm gonna get back quicker because it's still like a 45 minute walk back to the hostel from here. And I was like, if it suddenly starts to thunder and lightning, even more than it is now i will freak out so i need to wait for this bus i think it should be coming in like 20 minutes so the sooner it comes the better i'll feel i am so glad to be back in the yaj and undercover basically that was intense yeah i was waiting for that bus and like 15 minutes before it was gonna come i was staring at the sky like this is gonna suddenly hit hard so i got an uber which was gonna arrive sooner so i was like great i'll get in that and i literally stepped inside the uber and the rain came and i was like wow that was a close call i don't have any food for today so i went to coles and got some stuff because that was kind of on the way then the rain came harder pelting it down oh my gosh it was crazy so i was like well what do i do it was either like walk to the bus stop in the rain or get an uber but they suddenly whacked up the prices because the demand suddenly increased more than double the price like from eight dollars to nineteen dollars i was like what so yeah i waited for it to calm down and luckily it did so i managed to quickly like walk slash run to the bus stop and then i got on a bus back to the hostel anyway i'm gonna have a shower now after i'd had my shower and then made my dinner i basically just sat down and did some work so normally i will 
do a lot of work in the evening times. It's when I'm most productive on my computer. I'll just get through all of my emails, start on the editing, and just basically get a lot done. It's when I suddenly go into this very productive mode. Ooh, okay. There's a lovely toilet. I'm in the toilets, obviously. Um, I'm going to bed just to my teeth, and yeah. I had to like improv the pajamas today because um, I did my washing and hung it outside and guess what? There was a huge storm. So it's all wet and I washed all my pajamas. So I've just put this baggy top on and these like short things. But yeah, I'm tired. See you tomorrow in the morning. After getting up pretty early at around 6.30, I was just finishing off some stuff on my computer probably at around 7.30 after I'd put on all my sun cream, gotten dressed and had the main bit of my breakfast and yeah I just had a few things to finish off. Okay, where are we? We're on Mount Coolum. It's so hot and it's so steep like, oh, oh hi, sorry, um, do you want to come down? We'll go up. I was going to let you guys finish. Yeah, I don't know how long, um, sometimes I just waffle a bit too much, so, you know, I think we'll let you go. Oh, my bad. Oh, thanks for the update. <laughs> oh my god, this view here is good, look. Oh. So pretty, look at this view. Well, is it just houses? Houses and the sea. But yeah, this is Sonia, sorry. <laughs> this is getting to the point. Sort of like met yesterday and then we've just decided to do this basically. Hiking in the morning in the heat, but you know, it's good. Trust me to wear all black on this day. I think I'm gonna take off my top and wear my crop top like you've done. Yeah. But I know it was gonna be sweaty. Currently breathing very heavily and sweating my face off, but all good it will be worth it when we get to the top <laughs> yeah? yeah just a lot of steps so many steps like look at this oh there's a lizard thing oh, we made it to the top basically in like how long how long do you reckon that took us I, I reckon half an hour. Yeah, maximum. Half we an hour. Stop. We, then we didn't stop, we were like powering and talking and <laughs> power walking up the hill. Um, and yeah, now we're just taking loads of pictures. This is the National Park, Mount Coulomb National Park, right? Yeah. yeah, and this is like the mountain in the middle of it, on the side of it, somewhere. See the snake? Oh, it's going up the tree. We found a kitty. <gasps> right on cue. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> oh, I literally haven't seen a cat since I've been in Australia. <laughs> oh, it's called Pepper. Oh, really? It says it on its name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I reckon she's a cat that would be picked up. Can I like put you in my rucksack and take you with me? <laughs> Please? I won't pick you up just in case you don't want to. I literally have cat <laughs> <laughs> After spending some quality time with the cat we found, we walked to the beach and just sat there and talked for ages. And also, Sonia brought this trail mix which we had together, and it was just so nice. I'm so hot and sweaty, and I've just made myself this bowl of random stuff I found. I had a whole tin of chickpeas, and I fancy chickpeas, so I have some chickpeas. I don't know how many times I want to say chickpeas in this sentence, but yeah. Chickpeas, a tomato, and carrot. I actually found both the tomato and carrot in the free food section of the hostel yesterday. So, you know, I am not complaining. We also need water. We need two things in my life right now. Food and water. It's honestly crazy, okay? That is um, what I kind of envision traveling to be about a lot of the time. Yesterday, Sonia recognized me when we crossed on the coastal walk. And we were like, oh yeah, we should do something tomorrow. But yeah, we went to Coulomb. Kulum, Kulum. Sonia knew about this hike, so we were like, yeah, sure, let's get up and do it in the morning. And we've stayed out until like 3 p.m. Sonia, if you're watching this, genuinely, I can't believe how similar we are. We just clicked. It's just been so nice to spend a whole morning with someone that you've literally just met, but 
we got on so well and we were so like similar in many ways we've been through so many similar things and we had such deep chats laughing so much oh my gosh it's been such a good morning so just these funny coincidences you meet at the same time and you know you never know what can happen yeah we just got the bus back essentially but kind of annoyed about the bus like i keep being overcharged yesterday i was charged four dollars something for going like two minutes down the road and i was like apparently that was supposed to be a free bus as well but yeah <coughs> no i'm choking on carrot anyway i don't know why i'm holding the ball like this something that i was talking to sonia about as well amongst many other things and we were talking about things like moving to australia sonia has also actually considered the same thing something that gelled together when i spoke it out loud to someone was as i've been talking about say if i moved here what would i do what would my life be like and right now i literally just have ideas i have no clue what would happen but something that fits quite nicely is obviously i chew to bag at home and i have youtube and they're things that i always want to keep along the side neither of them tie me to anywhere like i don't have to be in a certain place to do them i have been looking more into the master programs here in australia so yeah i could have this flow of income through tutoring and then obviously yes youtube um and then i could be studying i could be getting a master's probably in nutrition and then thirdly the kind of hobbies lifestyle things i'm getting more and more into diving and i'm falling in love with it because i'm vegan and i'm very ethically and environmentally conscious if i could do some like volunteering or conservation work alongside to do with like saving the marine life and plastic pollution that could be like the thing i do as well as like a hobby thing so i can dive but also save the oceans i don't know those three things could come together very nicely here in australia that's just an initial thought this has literally just been formulated in like the past week but you know i have a lot to think about like if i had to move here it's like visas how would i get a visa to come here studying here i suppose you don't need a visa i'm not sure but there are visas you can get visas in general anywhere you go it's gonna be a long process obviously huge part of my life home the uk everyone and everything is at home like family i miss home so much of course when i talk about this i'm definitely not neglecting home at all i just feel like life's meant to be an adventure and you're supposed to think outside the box as i keep saying and yeah i would miss home so much everyone at home it would be so hard and i'm obviously going to go home and see everyone and talk to them all about it but yeah that would be a huge consideration finding an actual place to live where would i want to situate myself in australia i mean i loved melbourne as i said loved cairns as well oh my gosh and then i'm going to sydney i'm really excited to see sydney cairns especially if i want to dive great barrier reef is just off the coast there's so much to think about but finances as well like would i be able to support myself even though i love like always being young and free but sometimes you have to think about these kind of adult related responsibilities just need a mouthful of chip please that nicely leads me on to the sponsor of the video so it is skillshare thank you to skillshare for sponsoring this video again as you have done in the past and yeah it's a really cool creative online learning platform basically you can take classes online instead of paying a lot more money to see someone in person or take more expensive tutorials to learn about anything from productivity as i always talk about because i love those courses but also and more relevant to this discussion things like freelancing entrepreneurship money starting a business so you can take these courses wherever you are and they're so short you can fit them in and they will basically help you achieve goals that are realistic goals for the new year 2020 and like everyday goals that people will aspire to achieve sort of thing so for me i really want to learn more about money and this morning i started watching this course modern money habits five steps to build the life you want and it's by justin bridges yeah it's about like budgeting freelancing dealing with debt everything that i am not really that clued up on but i love learning absorbing new stuff the whole course is like an hour and 10 minutes and each one is really short so you can just watch as many or as little as you want to in the time you have if you want to try skillshare they are giving you guys two months to try the premium membership and then after that it's like around ten dollars a month but yeah you can click the link below and get basically two months totally free to trial it take advantage of that please just click the link below and yeah off you go i'm like intrigued by this modern money habits like they don't teach you that at school you know it recommended this app mint i'm genuinely making notes like 
I really want 2020 to be the year when I start building my future and you know if you guys want to do the same and use Skillshare to help you achieve your goals in this new year definitely click the link below but yeah I essentially forgot to end this video and I just filmed a time lapse of me doing my washing which wasn't even in focus but you know I hope you enjoyed this vlog like it if you enjoyed it and I will speak to you as always in another one bye coat hangers are very useful to air your clothes on I mean <laughs>